Now, is there any particular card uh, mechanic to the game? Like, say, do you focus on um, cards which draw extra cards or cards which are, are more control cards? Is there any particular mechanic or colour you're always more interested in when a set comes out, strategy wise? Well, I mean, I just think like card drawing just helps all the ways that you can lose, like it kind of like offsets it. Like, you know, sometimes you can mulligan, you can get mana screwed, but if you're like always drawing cards, you know, you have more options and like the impact of things like mulligan and stuff are just lessened. Whereas if you just like have guys and creatures, like you have one plan of attack and then that's it, you know. So if, if you like mulligan and like miss your one and two drop, like an extended, like if you're playing zoo, you don't have like a one or a two drop, like you fall behind and you can't kill them fast enough. I mean, like can't I just, catch up at all. yeah, I just don't enjoy decks like that. Whereas like you know, if I miss my three land drop playing a blue deck, like it's usually still fine. I mean, I have a lot of spells I can still cast. I'm still doing stuff. If I get flooded, I'll you know maybe draw thirst for knowledge and cast that. So. Yeah. Is there any kind a particular keyword ability in extended just now which you think is particularly broken or close to being broken? I mean, I think there's a lot of sick stuff, like Affinity and Dredge are obviously really good, Storm, but like a lot of the good enablers rotated out, just like things like Breakthrough that were just not good, but they're insane with Dredge, you know, like I'm, I'm pretty glad those are out of the format, Yeah, Dredge was just like a stupid deck. Yeah. I don't like, I don't think you like really look for keywords when you're trying to build a deck, like you're just looking for like interactions and stuff like that, it doesn't really have to do with keywords, like Dredge is like a really good mechanic and things like that, but there's just a dredge deck. You're looking for, like you said, the enablers that rotate it out that make the dredge mechanic even more broken. Yeah, it's, like, it's not just like one thing, it's like a combination of things. Yeah, like for me, like when I'm building a deck at the beginning of a format, like you have like a set standard of decks and then like what I do is I like to examine each deck and see what they do and what they don't do well and look for holes in the format. Or like looking, I'm, I look for like a really powerful card that's not being played like very often. Like right now a card that's like really underplayed is Dark Confidant, but it doesn't really have a home. Like, it's average in Zoo, it's like okay in Zoo. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, you definitely play Tarmogo if you definitely play Scholar and then, like, you know, you can play Confidant or Yeah, like, or like, last season it wasn't even a question. We were playing Confidant for sure, where, like, right now it's just, like, kind of up in the air. Like, a card like that, it's like, a card that good that is, like, dominated for that long doesn't have a home. Like, I look for cards like that, where it's like, why isn't this card being played? And then, like, I'd, like, play some games and, like, play a deck with it, and then, like, it's just not good for some reason. And then it's like, okay, and then... And then I just move on from there. But I always look for like little holes in formats. Like last season, when I when I won a PTQ with Destructive Flow, like it was good for like two or three weeks, and then it, people like kind of adjusted and stuff. Like the same thing can be said about like Blood Moon at the beginning of the season for like a week or two. Sure. So. Okay. Uh, last question for today. And you guys play a lot. You travel around a lot. I mean, I see two of you almost everywhere in North yeah. America. <laughs> yeah. And um, for judges who are new or old. What kind of things can you suggest that would make judges better or make judges better to the players close that gap? Because we are there, to, I mean, I speak personally to say that we are there to help you, but sometimes that doesn't come across. Right. Is there things that maybe judges the way they act, you think we could maybe be better at? Well, some of the judges just seem like they judge to have authority over someone. I mean, that's that's like a really small number or whatever, but like yeah, some yeah. of them definitely act like that. They're just like, out oh, to give someone a game loss just so they like feel better about themselves or whatever, and that sucks. But uh, as, as far as the rest of it, like it's, it's so hard. It's hard for you guys to do your job well, and especially for things like slow play. I mean, like it's so hard to judge stuff like that because it's like, it seems like you guys go back and forth on whether or not you should like rule on you know, whether or not that this should actually be taking a, a large amount of time. Like, you know, what if it, you're on like the, the uh, last turn of the game, pretty much, you know? Like, should they get a lot of time to think it out so they don't mess up? I mean, what if they have like 12 minutes on the clock? I mean, sure. it's so hard to do something like that. Yeah. So, like, sure. I, think, I think a lot of people just like do their job really well. I mean, if, if stuff happens, it happens. Like, people just have to get over it. You know, it's just sure. like part of the job. There's always yeah, I'm um, over it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over pro throw London, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, Cedric will have a story, but continue. No, I, I guess that was my last question. But, I mean, you know, know what it's like. There are some areas of judging where the judge really just has to go with his gut. Yeah. And that can come down a lot of times to how much experience that judge has. Yeah. Um, I guess how much, how confident he is himself. I guess, you know, judges will sometimes doubt themselves and let things fester longer than they, they should. So I really come back to the individual case by case. Thing. Well, the thing is, it's like, and like, I've been playing for a while, so like, you can tell, like, right off the bat, like, for me, like, when I call a judge, I can tell right off the bat if this guy knows or doesn't know, 
like right when away, like the, just like the way he walks over and like the way like you explain the situation because like when I explain judge situations I explain like everything very well in depth and then like the person might be like uh uh, uh okay back up a second and then it's just like you know like you want to judge like you can just tell if a judge like has this like has it together on what he's gonna do so I mean it's not like a slight to new judges because like they have to learn you know but like when I like go to a PTQ in like the Midwest like I know what judges are good what judges are bad like what judges I want when I get a call because like they know the rules and everything so I don't know like there was a there was a I'm like bringing up a lot of situations because I only because like, I have it from personal experience but like at a legacy tournament in worlds this guy played two lands in one turn and when he played a second land he like he like played a land played a second land sacked a polluted delta to get a land play a shrink to mage and I'm like what are you doing and he's just like what are you talking about I'm like you just played two lands like no I didn't and there were like eight or nine people watching they're like yeah you didn't he's like no I didn't and I called the judge and like I got like pretty mad pretty fast and like the judge came over and he was just like what's going on and I'm just like this guy just played two lands but like I was like getting I was like pretty mad and I said that I was like getting angry and the guy's just like the guy is just like no I didn't and everyone's like yes you did and I'm like buddy I wouldn't be going crazy like this if you if you didn't play two lands it's just like irrational and he's like I did not play two lands and <laughs> I'm just like are you being serious right now I'm, I'm like getting really really mad and like that's I have I don't really have a temper problem, but like when something like this happens, it's so outlandish. I got really mad. The judge is like, "All right, you need to calm down." And like, he like got me back to reality and like back in the situation. He's like, "Just calm down. All right, let's go over the situation." And like, I explained like you know every turn of the game because like I thought he was him on turn one. And I knew every card that he played for the whole game. And so the judge is just like, "All right, you know, you, you've laid it out." And like this guy, all he's saying is, "No, I didn't." So you know, I'm gonna rule in your favor. You know, and like he just like. The process that he took was really well done, and like he called me down like after the match, he's just like, you know, are, you know, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, you know, thanks for calling me down, like because I was getting a little out of control. So it was handled really well. I don't know the judge's name. He's, I feel like he's from Australia, and but like, yeah, it's like that's that's, cool. that's that's pretty random. But like if he sees this or something, like I feel like he's from Australia, and he was a really really good judge. Like I have respect for really good judges, and I have like very little tolerance for bad judges or like the judges that you said are just out to like game or something yeah. or like don't and yeah I hate judges that don't know the rules because like that's their job so that really like perturbs me when I have to ask a judge a question and they're just like I don't know I'll be right back and then so it takes time yeah it definitely does, it definitely does. and thanks gentlemen well, thank you pleasure. no problem Cedric Jerry and good luck for the rest of 2000. Don't cut out the Randy Bueller thing. I don't apologize for that statement. <laughs> and we'll hope to see you in more finals in the future. All right. Thank you. Thank you.